It's Friday. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here. Look at this, Synergy Cafe. I've got to grab my coffee cup. Here we are. Let's take you into Synergy Cafe, which is my uh, kitchen. <laughs> so let me get set up here. If you could share this video, we want you to share. Boop. Just like that. Uh, uh, uh. Readjust. How's your Friday so far? Everything happy? Yes? So we're going to talk a little bit about relationships. Relationships. Not romantic relationships, but people relationships. Because there's some people that are getting kind of desperate. Do I look okay? How's my hair? God, yesterday I took a shower. I poked, my, I, I poked myself in the eye with my own thumb. Jesus. So let's get the coffee ready. Get the coffee ready while the people show. Nobody there yet? No, not yet. If you could, if you'd like and comment and share on this, share this out to some people. And uh, if you're on Facebook and YouTube, I'm not sure which, but it's always nice to share. Yes, sirree. So, running low on coffee. Look at that. We got to grind some more up. When they say life is a grind, life is a grind. That's what this means. You grind your coffee in the morning. <laughs> yes. Life is a grind if that's what you want it to be. I I've never liked that. Hustle. Hustle. Unless you love to hustle. Um, personally, I'm a fan of leverage. Leverage. Milk. I use rice milk. That's backwards, isn't it? Look at that, backwards. Does it look, look better this way? No, it doesn't. <laughs> turn it around, turn it around. Do, 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 do. Heat that up. So relationships. The reason I bring this up is, um, as many of you may know, if you know who I am, I'm self-employed. I've uh, got a background in events and marketing and Nowadays, everything is online marketing because you can't do events yet. We'll get back to it. Look, I got a little alfalfa thing going on there. <laughs> Remember alfalfa and spanky and buckwheat? That wouldn't go over anymore, would it? <laughs> I guess. Uh, Porky. Darla. That's what the, That was the cast of the Little Rascals. So relationships um the reason i bring this up is i had someone that friended me on facebook they wanted to be a friend so they connected and i did some messaging and said hi how's it how you going how's it going and you, you kind of vet them out and figure out if they're a real or a scammer or whatever so i connected with this person and then we got into a conversation so how's life and what do you do and right away he promotes his product and that's he said, you asked me what I did. Well, that's not what you do. That's the product you're selling. So you, what you do is you're doing affiliate marketing. So I don't know if you got a full-time job or if you're doing online marketing, but right away he started pushing his product. And he came on real strong, and th that's the way that some people do it, I guess. They're, that's the hustle, the grind, the hustle. And uh, to me, it's kind of a turnoff because I want to know who you are. I've never met you before. Um, through conversation, later conversation, I finally learned he's from Florida, which kind of helps, you know, when you get to know somebody and who they are. Do they have a family? Are they, uh, are they an ex-con? Are they a felon? Um, I know some ex-cons and felons, and some of them are out and uh, doing a legal life. And <laughs> but it's good to know, get to know somebody before all of a sudden you go, hey, you want to do business? Because a lot of this stuff is a money game. And not a good money game, it's a money laundering game. Oh my, I have to use a washcloth because it boiled over. <laughs> ay, 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 it's always something, isn't it? It's always something. That goes in there like that, and then you push the little button. And it makes coffee, just like that. So building the relationship is important. That's why I do a lot of video like this, so you can see me. I'm in my apartment. This isn't a green screen. 
See, it's real deal. <laughs> is the authenticity because most people online don't trust them. When you get an email from something and it says, hey, your uh, PayPal has been jeopardized. It might not be PayPal, probably not PayPal. Or from your bank, your bank might be uh, a thing. Your, your account has been hacked, please contact this number, 800 blah, blah, blah. It may not be your bank. So relationships are really important. So this guy that contacted me, I think he's a real guy. I mean, he uses his voice and stuff like that um, in the messenger and stuff, but you still don't know. So I would say don't be doing any of these online businesses with people unless they will authentically connect with you and be genuine and true and, and you understand it. Like some people talk about ground floor opportunities and that's, that, that's not a good time to get involved with something in my opinion because I mean, it used to be because you, uh, you get started and you're part of the first team. And then when you join later, it ends up being a, you're just a laborer. <laughs> you know, like a regular traditional business. When you come in later after the CEO and the CFO and the president and everybody got this thing all together, you're an employee, <laughs> right? So that's not the best time. But these days, when you get involved with these companies, whether they be network marketing companies or MLM companies or programs or systems and all this stuff, some of these companies, you got to make sure they're really companies or they just uh, have they just created a landing page and some some tiered money hacking laundering thing. You need to check them out and see if they're legitimate people that are running this legitimate businesses so that when you opt in your your credit card information, it's not being shared and stuff. So you need to check that out before you just get into it. So my point being, it's about relationships. And uh, some people just uh, don't build the relationship first. They just go for the sale. They post a thing and they think you should just buy my stuff. And part of this is because some of the ways that they build this stuff up is it's real hypey with these fancy videos and fast cars and Las Vegas and travel and all that hype stuff, it gets your, your emotions going. And then you, f you think, oh, this is the best company in the world. I like my company. And it's not really your company. You're just a pawn in that big company. Hope you realize that. <laughs> so they get all excited about it. And then they start pushing it out, thinking that the, like, yeah, a good example is the CBD oil thing, the CBD craze, the, the hemp oil and all that. Everybody's on it because it's such a great thing. It's fantastic and it's going to save the world. And people get really, really involved in it. And I don't know, is it, is it cured cancer? <laughs> no, it's still, cancer's still around. So you get too hypey into the, the product. And uh, the product, it's got to be a good product. And you got to try it out yourself. And you should be able to um, test the water, see how it goes. Build a relationship. I'm all about collaboration when it comes to these business relationship things. I don't want to just join your team. I don't want you just to join my team. I want to work with you on this stuff and, and synergize and harmonize and get, generate leads and stimulate sales and build relationships. So I'll get off my high horse. Um, I got coffee to make. Let me finish this here. Hang on a sec. button again. Sorry. I got all wrapped up there. So I've got another Synergy Cafe interview. What I do with these Synergy Cafe interviews is I end up meeting people online um, via Zoom and I'm going to probably switch on to StreamYard. It seems like a neater, smoother platform. So that's what it's all about. Show your face, you know. You can't just uh, join things because they have a link to a website that has a fancy video on it and and it shows this way of making people are making millions of dollars all that hypey stuff don't be don't buy into that stuff maybe it is i mean there are some really cool things out there that some people are making some pretty serious money on from what i've seen personally i don't know many people that are actually making you know, a bunch of money from with a couple of clicks. I don't know anybody like that. It takes time to build this relationship and to build a group and build an organization. That's why it's got to have a stable foundation to it. You get some of these launch things, grassroots, ground floor opportunities, 
that's got to be a solid foundation. You can't just uh, build on sand, so to speak. Anyways. I'm going to put another shot of espresso in there because I need a little bit more <laughs> on a Friday. So that's my story, Morning Glory. I'm going to uh, save this to my phone and beam it up to YouTube with some keywords and uh, tags and all that kind of stuff. That's how you get the traffic, the qualified traffic. And I don't, again, I don't expect people to just look at my video and then click on a link and then buy. I expect them to contact me. Let's have a conversation. Let's find out what this thing is all about, these platforms and programs and systems and stuff see how they might fit in they might be to me there's three different elements of marketing plant the seed nurture to plant harvest the fruit so the seed is generating the lead then you got to nurture that and figure out is it a prospective lead are they a possible customer or client or partner then nurture the plant is the relationship that takes all the time that's the whole big span of stuff, building that relationship, that know, like, trust, respect factor. And then you can make the sale, harvest the fruit. So there you go. That's it. Three steps. One, two, three. <laughs> That's it for now. Thank you very much. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy your Friday. Be well.